Hi all. Welcome to this brief introductory video for our online course demonstration module. This video is typical of the brief introductory videos that I use for each module in my online courses. These brief videos are generally used to help establish and maintain instructor presence for the course, introduce the primary topics that will be discussed in each module and how these topics fit into the overall course objectives, and to describe the activities for the week. To show you how this can be done, the rest of this video will be similar in structure to my usual introduction videos. I will also include one or two additional examples that I have used in some of my past courses. The module content provides an example of how a typical course might be set up in my online Master of Business and Technology program. All activities that I include in a module are meant to help students achieve the overall course objectives. A few additional things that I think about when setting up module activities are balance, consistency, and flexibility. I try to keep my module structure very consistent while maintaining the flexibility to cover different topics or provide different but topic appropriate activities. I also like to balance synchronous and asynchronous content. Many of the activities required in my modules are due by a certain date, but may be worked on asynchronously up until that date. There are, however, usually a few times, five or six, during a semester when I hold synchronous sessions. These are scheduled at the beginning of the semester. They're also recorded so that students can watch them asynchronously if they cannot get to the session. I like to promote instructor and student presence. Videos like this one go a long way to supporting your presence in the course. Be sure to have some fun with them and, and that they reflect your personality. User or student experience. I strive to make it so that my module is well organized, easy to navigate, and consistent. Students are intelligent and can often work around unorganized content, but as Steve Krug discusses in the user experience book, Don't Make Me Think, it is important to reduce any cognitive load that distracts and detracts from the course objectives. Accessibility. It's a legal requirement that anything we post in our courses must comply with accessibility policies. This means that you need to do things like closed caption for videos or make sure that your posted files are readable by specialized software for the blind Any, and some other requirements. Keep in mind that while accessibility is required for our physically disadvantaged students, good accessibility practices also help with general user experience. For this demonstration module, I will include examples of different types of activities that might be incorporated in a course module. Note that I do not use all of the example activities that you may see in this module in every one of my course modules. I'll generally pick and choose which activities are appropriate for the week at hand. The activities are here to demonstrate good activities that you can choose. To that end, this module may grow over time depending upon need and the time available for updates. In particular, this module will include examples of, and the reasons for, module checklist, some learning resources, these would be readings, videos, etc. I plan to include other general tips about various online module activities here in this module for those resources. Examples of review quizzes, course discussions and appropriate rubrics, module assignments and some example rubrics, and additional miscellaneous course activities as needed. I hope that you find the module useful as you consider the possibilities for online portions of your instruction. 
Finally, a couple of tips about making your online introduction videos. One, strive to keep them loosely coupled to the module. By necessity, they're linked to the topic and activities of the module itself, but if you want to reuse them, be sure not to include dates or activities that may or may not be in the current module. For example, I used to say something like, we will have a live online session on Thursday this week. Of course, the very next semester, that week I would have office hours, and my live session would be scheduled for another week. So I had to redo the video. So now, I say something like, be sure to check out the course schedule and the module checklist for schedule sessions or office hours. Second, another important thing to remember with these introductory videos is that it's a great place to have a little fun and let your personality shine through. So feel free to personalize them to your own taste. The students will appreciate getting to know you better and it will support your online presence. See you online.